Hello everybody, it is I, the Luigi Big Man. Yeah, welcome back to Ahead of Time. Last time, TJ Grooves won the bird, the, uh, the, uh, the bird awards. Uh, however, however, a little birdie, and yes, I mean, and yes, I meant that pun. A little birdie told us that, that the, uh, that the awards was rigged and DJ Grooves has one more of those timepieces. Planning to smash it. And possibly change time. So, we stuck into Denver Studios uh, after hours, and now we found a secret facility. A secret underground facility. Ain't that nice. Oh, and we also got the grappling hook and the. Uh, uh, clean the uh, the wells, and we got one of our contracts done for the uh, for the uh, for the snatch. Anyway, the label reads MacGuffins. Hmm. I wonder what that's for. So anyway, this episode we're going to be continuing on trying to uncover the secret. On, on what's causing, or like, let's see if this uh, rumor is true that uh, that there's another timepiece. Yep. Also, you gotta watch out for the cameras. They will, they will catch you. And well, and I mean, like they work the same way as in the first level of this of this chapter. Ah, well. Not too important, but hey. We're getting a bunch of uh, pawns anyway, so, uh. I see it was still, it was still worth it. You can also hear a bit of DJ Grooves, uh. In the background. Now, depending on who wins, you'll be hearing whoever won, so... Because DJ Grooves won for us, uh, you'll be hearing DJ Grooves. If you're, uh... If the conductor wins, you'll be hearing the conductor. The label reads, thick and clocks. You think of one bean of ants and sugar. Hmm. And, well, here, here we are, where we can move on. Now we have these switches we have to activate. Oh yeah, remember those grows from, uh... Remember those, uh, those crows from, uh, from Murder on the Owl Express? Uh-oh. Yeah, they're here for some reason, so, uh, that's always... That's always lovely. Okay, that's another button pressed. That's another one. And there's one more we need to get. And unfortunately for us, there's a moon penguin there. Taking this discarding duty seriously. This is now. Now's the time for us to, to break for it. Now you think you'll be seeing us over there, but I'm bumming. He's a bird. Birds are stupid. Like if like like there like there's no need for me to validate why birds are stupid. And just like that, no fall damage taken. Anyway, here's the next area. Yep, so we can't pass through this way, so we have to hop down here. Now, most of these doors are locked, except for, except for a select few. And 
and we'll get through those doors in just a second. But hey, we now we're now on the other side. Let me just hop over here and make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. So we shall continue on. Yep, here's here's one of those doors, and this is DJ Groove's uh, one of DJ Groove's. You know what? Let's look at these. We got Funky. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, here's one of our movies. Picture Perfect. And then here's another one of our movies, The Big Parade. Oh, that's uh, well, that's nice seeing that. I mean, we did help him win after all. And well, here's well, here's the trophy room. Although I'm pretty sure DJ Grooves uh, only won one trophy ever, so this might be the conductor's room, but who knows? Why well, that? This is where they store all the. Uh... Wait, actually, no. Now I think about it. Yeah, this has to be the, the this has to be the conductor's room, because well, here's the thing. One, there's a bed. There's a bunch of trophies surrounding it. It strikes you that this might be the gaudiest, most ex excessive thing you ever see. It doesn't look like there's an easy way to take it with you either. Shame. Yeah, I totally would have stole stolen that as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the conductor's uh, room up there. Well, I don't, cause like I don't think I don't, I don't think uh, yeah, cause technically speaking, uh, DJ Grooves. If he has a timepiece, I'm not sure if he. I don't think he had a chance to be able to. Uh, I don't think. I don't think he even had a chance to be able to. Uh, the worst time to see all those. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that it was DJ Grooves uh, from there. Anyway. And here's the, and here's the conductor's area. Murder on the Al Express. Here's Train Rush. Oh, hey, we, we can also go look at these. These posters came out gr pretty great. Though it occurs to you that you never gave them permission to use your image in marketing. Actually, you don't recall you don't recall signing a contract for anything here. Or even giving them any any of your details. It's possible you aren't getting paid for these movies. God damn it. Upon a time on the Science Express. Interesting. Yep, well we can't well, well we can't enter through here. Oh, there's only one way up. Anyway, let's continue on. Here we are. Life Pong. Ah. Yep. There we go. Yep. Don't know why you can't move the camera here. Like, personally, that... Personally, that felt kind of annoying there. And we're down here. And that key gave us another relic. And, oh, taking another elevator down. And here's the award ceremony again. But there's a different picture this time. And look, here's DJ Groove. Look who we've got here, darling. I guess you found my little secret, huh? Yep. This last timepiece is all for me, darling. If you want it, 
Well, I guess you've just got to come and get it. Anyway, here's the boss fight. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Yeah, so, so far this... Go! So yeah, this boss fight... So, so far ain't that bad. It's just a bunch of dodging. Homie yeah. attack him any chance Ladies he gets. And gentlemen. <laughs> now he's out you. Now he's got angry. Yep, now I don't know, yeah, I don't know what I think I'm just going for a little, uh... Go! There we go. Yep. Like I said, this is probably one of my favorite boss fights in this game. That next to the snatchers. Well, uh-oh. Here we go! Took one hit so far. Ha! There we go. Hard! Oh, they're all. Oh, okay. Ha! Yeah. Ooh. Oh, going Ladies and uh -oh. Gentlemen! Ow. Again. You've done it now, Yep, and, and then this happens. Let's have a little heart to heart. Yep. Have a seat, darling. Yep, we're gonna have a little heart to heart. Ever since you arrived on this planet, these town pieces have fallen from the sky. Now, I can understand if you feel they belong to you, darling. I understand. But did you know they allow for rewinding time? With one time piece, I could reclaim all the trophies that belong to me, darling. Every single trophy I've lost to the conductor where he has cheated his way to victory. And, and see, this right here, like, now we see DJ Groove's true colors. I can't prove it, darling, but I'm certain the conductor has been manipulating everything to make sure I never win. Or maybe, or maybe it's that, that a lot of people these days like to, like to watch action movies. So if, if the movie is not action based, uh, the movie then not, not a whole lot of people watch them. Like, like I, I work at a movie theater, so I. So here's the thing. Action movies like the like the Marvel like the Marvel uh, superhero movies or like a DC, like a DC superhero movie that sort of thing, those tend to attract the more general audience because it's more action. You, you get a bit you get a bit of all all age group. Movies that the DJ Grooves make are more for like a niche market. Uh, these are the type of movies that a lot of the older folks would probably watch. And when I mean older folks, I mean like the senior citizens. Because I work in a movie theater, we get a lot of uh, seniors coming in a lot. Because, well, I mean, what else are we going to be doing all day? So, yeah, there. So those type of movies would probably be up their alley. And, and, all, and like, considering, and considering that some of these are, like, yeah, it, it's, yeah, so there's, like, different markets. So, in general, the action movie is going to, is going to get the better praise, in my opinion. So I feel, so I feel that's probably the reason why conductor. Like this is just my opinion. I don't think the conductor. I don't think the conductor's cheating. 
I just, I just think, I, I just think people, uh, I just think the market, I, I just think that the devs made an accurate uh, depiction of the uh, movie market as, as most people, as most people would go for the action-packed movie compared to the more artistic movie, per se. I just need one time piece to fix years of cheating and fraud. Can't you spare me just one time, darling, no. darling, no. darling? You're so persistently selfish. I've brought you to stardom, and all I ask in return is a single time piece. But you won't share. To be fair, I didn't ask for the stardom. Well, darling. If you want this timepiece back so bad, come and get it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This ain't good. Remember this bomb, darling? I stole it from the conductor's movie set, and now it'll be your demise. Yep, he's gone, Psycho. And now there's razor blades or saw blades, whatever you call them. Get back here, you bitch. Now, luckily for us, now luckily for us, the conductor's here to save us. Thank God for the homing attack. As, yeah, and that's just the fuser. Just a giant, just a giant bloody scissors. There we go. Yep. Shit, yep. This is where things. Here we go. Like, I thank you. Like I think you have to reach he sells when he like starts pulling out the knife. But yep. But well, that's the boss fight. Yep, uh, uh, DJ Grooves will always be looking at you when you're nearby. Uh, Conductor's still here. Oh, they also just covered the whole, uh, whole audience from seeing anything. So, yeah. So, DJ, so, regardless of who wins, they're the bad guy. Uh, if Conductor wins, you'll be fighting him. And DJ Grooves comes to save you. The opposite happens. The opposite happens if if DJ Grooves wins. DJ Grooves will, is the person you'll fight. And yeah, DJ Grooves wins. He, it's he that you have to fight. Now I now I shall do this. Make the game shut up. Now, now, with that being said, Anzi, I think DJ Grooves is probably the more evil one of the two, because here's the thing. Yeah, the conductor wins and will see the timepiece just to make sh just to reverse the, uh, the one loss he had. He wants a perfect record. 
Now, honestly, that's petty as hell. DJ Grooves, on the other hand, is so butthurt over the fact that he lost, like, so many years in a row. Yeah. I feel, I feel like he's a bit more greedy, wanting to, like, I feel, like, go back and try and prevent just the conductor from winning, uh, like, just prevent the conductor from winning, period, is, I feel that's a bit more greedy. Now, if you beat up your, uh, Roomba here, sorry, sorry, friend, you'll get some, you can get some pongs. Okay. He's all up. Anyway, let's go around. Let's 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 go back to helping the uh, the snatcher. And I'm helping. I mean, begrudgingly helping him. Now, unfortunately for us, Queen Queen's Vanessa's manor is next, and this one is a bit of a doozy, as you may see from the picture here. Anyway, let's drive on over there. And here he is. I believe it's for act. Oh, wait, that's act five. Uh, that's five now, now. Act three. To oh, yeah, Toilet Doom. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. Toilet of Doom. Not a bad choice. This one should be a breeze. You're leaving all the difficult contracts for the newbies, though, which is really rude. So yeah. Anyway, let's continue on. Manor is this way. Yep. Now here's the now here's the thing about uh, here's the thing about the alternate reality stuff. Let me switch to the mask. You can, you can face through purple stuff, green stuff that you normally face through will, will become, uh, you know visible so it's easier if you just you know yep and in the real world or in the, or your plane right now purple you can walk on it but go through yeah so that that's all we're gonna need this there we go Here's the manor. Now, there's now there's one now there's one big trick to the uh, to the manor. Okay, 
So obviously doors are snowed in, so you can't really do much about that. So you have to go into the cellar and uh Yeah. Yeah, odds yeah, no now is this part scary? Yeah, debatable. Anyway, I'm gonna Oh, so so it's here. Yep, so we now can't use our, uh, can't use our hats. Which is a bit unfortunate. So, how do you guys feel about stealth missions? Now, I am normally hot garbage at stealth. Yep, so normally you're gonna have to Yep, I'm yeah, I'm uh, I'm just gonna hide under here. Spooky stuff, man. It's a real, it's a real spooky stuff. Welcome back here. You don't see me. You do not see me. Diary. Diary. A lot of pages that have been torn out. Turn to the one that's left. Why? What have I done? In his letters, he talks about her. A tutor. He says he loves me. But she sees him. I get letters. And she gets his time. He is mine. Once his studies are finished, I will have him back. A bit obsessive, huh? A bit of the uh, obsessive type, huh? You did it to my 
Dear Diary, today my prince left to begin study. He will be so far away, and for so long, he has promised to write. He won't forget me, will he? His beloved princess? Anyway, that's it for today's episode. Uh, yeah, if you, if you guys enjoy the, uh, the, the Let's Play or, uh, or what have you. Uh, if you enjoy all, if you enjoy all that, uh... Yeah, if you, if you join the content I'm doing, uh, or the Let's Play I'm currently doing, please consider subscribing. I would really pre appreciate it. It'll help the uh, channel grow. Uh, and with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll be continuing to uh, run away from this eldritch, uh, uh, eldritch beast that is chasing after us. That was once a, that was once a princess. Uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then. What, what?